Hi and welcome to this Automotional presentation for an absolutely gorgeous Land Rover Discovery Series 1 presented on a 1997. The car is in absolutely fantastic condition. The drive on this car is um, unbelievable to say the least. Um, we genuinely look forward to any Land Rover fans coming and taking a look at this car knowing that um, of course being a 97 model the car will drive in a very particular way and not up to modern standards but this car really seems to have um, come on leaps and bounds uh, since some um, servicing work that's been carried out. It has had a uh, full but basic service. It's also had a brand new prop shaft put in as well as steering damper. The car drives straight and true. It has got working ice cold air conditioning and um, fantastically enough also working um, cruise control. The car is presented on the most gorgeous of um, green with a hint of brown metallic much alike the new Mercedes S-Class 2013 colour range to be honest um, here on Auto Marginal we will always tell you what the car requires as well as all the benefits of it uh, the grille was damaged so a new one's been replaced um, for a shade of green that is of course slightly out so that strip at the bottom of the grille does need to be repainted a, a, a ridiculously small thing to mention but of course it's our job to inform you of these things the crown bull bar really does set the vehicle apart from any other Discovery ones currently in the UAE of which there are only a handful and I don't think any of them are really driving to this quality and look this good. You've got the original factory alloys wrapped in the Michelin tyres and as you can see the depth of the tread there is absolutely fantastic. That 4.8, 3.9 litre engine really does make for a beautiful that just hammers this car down the road. It really does rely uh, the age of the car as to just how well it drives. You've got huge glass area on these cars, so the visibility is second to none. You've also got the roof rails, as you can see there. The car, then, from any angle, of course, very distinguished in the sense that it is, of course, a silhouette of the. Land Rover Discovery, a timeless shape even up until the current LR4s, they've kept lots of the same styling cues. You've also got the chrome lined running boards there. Again, as with Auto Marshall, we'll always tell you what we feel the car needs. You've got remote central locking, which as you can see is fully operatable. All the doors work absolutely perfectly and the central locking works perfectly. But you do need the driver's key in the door handle when you open the door, just a very slight adjustment needed on the door locking mechanism on the driver's side. Again, a very small minor inconsistency on such a magnificent condition car. As you can see, the car does actually have um, half leather seat covers. I believe that the condition of the seats underneath are in more than better an average condition. We haven't removed them. That can be left to its lucky new owner to choose exactly what they one to do with the seats themselves. Again that central locking does need to be addressed from the driver's side main door. Apart from that you've also got all the running mats in the side of the vehicle. These seats are brilliant in that there's just a very little button to depress and they fold down and um, they also fold down again to give you a complete flatbed load area as you can see there and then they simply lock back into place. This car also is coming with the two rear 6th and 7th dicky seats as they're known, even AC appropriately facing the 6th and 7th passenger there and you've also got the AC control units for the middle row. Again, the seats simply fold back and then lock into place. A brilliant, versatile car for all your everyday motoring needs, yet still carries the prestige of being a beautiful Land Rover. Again, on the 
boot mechanism, the key must be engaged. So the locks on the doors do need some sort of an adjustment, but the central locking is fully working. Purely due to lack of use, this car's had basically one owner since new. The first owner had the vehicle for two years and put only about 12 to 13,000 kilometers on it, and the second owner's had it pretty much to date. It's actually got um, a fair bit of service history that are on the archives of Land Rover the official dealer here in uh, the UAE Altaya that obviously the new owner is going to have to chase up but whoever comes to take a look at the vehicle will realize purely from the way in which it's driving that this car does not drive this good without having some serious maintenance put upon it. It really does stand out from any other Discovery one we've had come through our hands here at Auto Emotional and this one really in this gorgeous color really in such nice condition as you can see the um, passenger side doors have no issues opening closing whatsoever it is the driver's side mainly that does again need that adjustment not a big job and nothing to detract from the overall brilliant condition even the roof lining is in ace condition as you can see the interior cabin lights have been upgraded to the Xenon style just to give it a bit of a facelift as well as that electric windows all round now the um, number plate lights the front side lights and main headlights have also been upgraded to the Xenon style so driving in the evening makes for a much more safer pleasant feel again a vast cabin very roomy and very light really does fill you with confidence when you drive this Land Rover. Headlight wash, wiper system as well in place. Stepping into the car of course it's got that trademark high driving position and you'll see when we engage the car itself all the hazard warning lights come on as per required and then go out as per required as well. It has currently got only 162,000 kilometers which for a 1997 D1 is ridiculously low. You've of course got the wash wipe system headlights which as before mentioned are in fact the side lights and xenons have been, uh, side lights and headlights have been upgraded to the xenon style and then you've got the working cruise control here. You just simply engage the master switch as you can see illuminate and then you set your speed, accelerate, decelerate, absolutely brilliant. Um, electric mirrors, that being the passenger, sorry that being the drivers and that being the passengers. You've also got absolutely brilliant ice cold AC on this car. Of course you're not going to be able to feel it but you will be able to hear the strength of the motors coming through. Really awesome and it's also got the um, doubled in Land Rover official stereo from the Discovery 2 series so a bit of a nice touch there. Of course the low ratio gearbox which on this car is working perfectly and that gearbox super smooth silky Land Rover gearbox matter to this 3.9 litre V8 electronically fuel injected engine. Also with the new prop shaft the car really does drive absolutely on the button. Again electric windows, the front passenger one needs attention so we're very forthcoming with all the tiny cosmetic elements that the car does need. You've got also a split on the surround of the stereo there. So literally a split on the surround there. The motor in the passenger window does need attention and you need an adjustment on the driver's lock here on the front. But the central locking system does fully operate even off the remote central locking. So a few very minor cosmetic defects on what is essence one of the nicest Land Rover Discovery Series 1 that we've had not only here in Auto Emotional but from doing some research it's probably one of the nicest looking ones here in the UAE. This colour scheme that they chose in 1997 has come full circle is now being used in all the prestige marks today. 
but this particular example with 162,000 and nigh on one owner really is a absolutely wonderfully driving machine. We look forward to any inquiries and especially test drives just to prove our statement to tell you that this is probably the nicest driving Discovery One here in the UAE. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching our presentation here at Auto Emotional.